This is Cody Cobbler with Trinity 3D, and today I'd like to demonstrate some of the features of a plugin for 3ds Max called Forest Pack Pro. Forest Pack Pro is an innovative plugin that allows easy and rapid placement of foliage geometry onto a geometric surface or within a spline shape. Created by i2 Software, Forest Pack Pro can help populate a scene with just a few trees or literally millions of grass, shrub, or rock objects. It's designed to replicate these objects quickly and efficiently throughout the scene while still maintaining robust diversity, reducing time for any artist's workflow in 3ds Max. To begin, I will start with a basic scene that has a fairly simple layout. Everything has been completed prior to this tutorial, and as it stands, the scene just needs some foliage to really push it into a believable place. Another great feature about Forest Pack Pro is the ability to incorporate V-Ray proxy objects as custom forest objects. The first portion will demonstrate how to use custom objects created along a geometric surface. Now I'm going to go to the Create tab, and within the drop-down menu, I'll select i2 Software. I'll select Forest Pack Pro, and click on the ground plane or object that I have set up for the ground. By selecting the plane or geometry, this will constrain your forest object to this area, and if you have Forest Pack Pro, it will also follow any inconsistency in the geometry. A warning will pop up, asking about using the camera limit visibility option, so go ahead and click yes. This basically says that for this forest object, whatever camera you have active or look through when you create a forest object, Forest Pack Pro will only display objects within the view of the selected camera. Next, with your forest object selected, go to the modify tab and select the geometry drop down. You can click on the green plus sign to add geometric or V-Ray proxy items to this forest object, and if you do this, Simply click on the item you would like to add. I have demonstrated this method here, but I'd also like to add multiple trees into this forest object as well. I can do this by clicking the smaller plus sign with a list button. Once you do that, you can select from the scene which items will be used within the forest object. I'm going to delete the default geometry, as I won't be using it for this forest object. Once the trees have been selected, Forest Pack Pro uses a points cloud system to display items in scene without hindering maneuverability. Within the Transform drop-down menu, there are quite a few options to randomize the forest object. Translation, Rotation, and Scale are all options that can be adjusted to help create a more unique object. The Material drop-down menu also has a nice feature that will allow for a gradient color to be applied to all geometry within a forest object. This is dictated by percentages, so feel free to experiment with renders. Make sure that if you're going to use this section, to click the Optimize Materials button within this rollout. I'm going to hide the tree objects for now, and demonstrate how to add geometry from the Forest Pack Pro's built-in library. I'm going to create a new grass forest object, and I'll go ahead and select my interior ground geometry. Again, I'll go to the Modify panel and click on the Geometry drop-down menu. And this time, instead of clicking on the green plus sign, I'll click the Library button in the Properties section. Within the 3D section, I can scroll down and choose any of the preset grass items. Click one and choose Import Selected. This will import the chosen preset into my scene as geometry within my forest object. I can do this multiple times to add variation, or even add items from the preset library and custom objects. The grass forest object will more than likely need to be adjusted, as it may appear too sparse when it is initially created. Within the distribution map drop-down menu, you can increase or decrease how often an object occurs within a set area. One issue with importing the grass onto this object is the intersection between the building and concrete geometry with the new grass. Forest Pack Pro has a very intuitive solution to this problem. With the grass forest object selected, in the Areas drop-down menu, I will click Add a New Object Area, and click on whatever object you want to exclude. In this instance, it is my building in concrete geometry. Once this object has been selected, the grass will no longer penetrate through the concrete. You can freely move the Exclude object, and it will continue to update, which offers a lot of freedom. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of Forest Pack Pro. I encourage you to download the Forest Pack Lite version as it is free to try with a few elements disabled from the Pro version. That being said, a standalone or network license is only $250 with a one-year subscription, and add a second license and receive a 50% discount.
Be sure to visit us at trinity3d.com if you have any questions or would like to purchase.